Hey, right here, I got the Briggs & Stratton Classic Carburetor. This is the Prime Pulsa. And uh, this is a fairly easy carburetor to take off. Uh, there will be one bolt, head bolt, right here. It's uh, usually a half inch, maybe a 7 16 It leads out into the engine block right there. And then there's a bolt right here, which will be in the front of your engine block. Uh, and there will be a 3 8 or a 7 16 that will be right here attached. And you'll detach both of those. And uh, this right here will be connected. This is your uh, throttle linkage. So once you take both of those bolts out, you're going to take that throttle linkage that's attached here. And then just go with the bend that's on that wire there. So that uh, you don't end up breaking this plastic throttle piece here. Alright, uh, the carburetor itself. To take it off, you have five bolts or nuts that are right here around the carburetor itself. So you got one, two, three, four, and five. So I've already taken these off. You'll take them off with a Phillips head screwdriver. And so I'll just take that, detach that from the gas tank right here. And put this gas tank aside. Now when you take your gas tank off, if you're doing this to repair your carburetor, I would highly suggest dumping the fuel and replacing with fresh fuel and cleaning this out thoroughly. As for your uh, carburetor right here, uh, you're going to remove your diaphragm and gasket, which are on the bottom here. I have a brand new one, so yours might be a little easier, uh, harder to take off, I'm sorry. And, and so make sure that's completely removed, especially off the face here. You might need to use a razor blade to take it off the face of this gas tank. But make sure that all the residual is removed and you put a brand new uh, carburetor. On this carburetor, you put a brand new gasket and a brand new diaphragm. These two pieces right here is mandatory on this for repair to be done correctly that these this, at least right here, this diaphragm be replaced because it'll get hard and it, the engine won't run properly. You'll get backfires. And then after the diaphragm gets completely hard, it won't run at all. And you also have this screen right here. Clean that out thoroughly. And this spring right here. I remove it because I don't want to lose it. It's just to keep it with the parts that you have. Okay. Now, when you take your carburetor cleaner, you want to spray through the hole that's down there in the center. If you can see, I'll get a little closer to the camera here. That brass hole right there. Get your carburetor cleaner and get down in there and clean through those holes. Make sure your, your uh, tip of your can can lead out into that hole and get as much carburetor cleaner through it. And also through the hole here, you can spray through that. And here and through here as well. So, and if you have a compressed air can, blow it out as well. Uh, it's better if you have an air compressor, and then you can blow it out with a higher portion of air there. So, here it is. I'm going to put this back together and show you the appropriate way of doing it. Uh, so if you've cleaned out your screen thoroughly, let's put that back on. Don't lose or forget to put your screen, your spring back on. So I'll put this on the bottom here. Just twist and put those back on. And then I'm going to set up my diaphragm and gasket. Diaphragm goes down first. Towards the face of this gas tank. And you want to make sure that, that it follows that pattern on the face here. And put this gasket on top of that. All this stuff has to line up real good for there to be a seal. I think it works kind of like a, a squirt gun. It has to be sealed up properly. I have all my screws still inside my carburetor here. And as I'm lowering it down, I'm kind of giving it a little shake. And coaxing the screws to go into the holes without piercing through the diaphragm. The diaphragm is real, uh, be real gentle with it. Put any other holes that aren't supposed to be in there and then it won't run. And it, 
So yeah, I'm shaking it back and forth and making sure all the screws drop into place. Okay. Now to finish this off, all I have to do is uh, screw these down. Now, when you're doing this, like I said, this carburetor needs to be seated against the gas tank very securely and evenly. So, in putting this all back together with your new diaphragm, you need to make sure you screw uh, just a little bit here and a little bit there and then a little bit here. And this is a star pattern, so you're going one, two, three, four, five, and then just go around that star pattern because you have five screws. And just slowly ease it down. Go one, one crank here, one crank there, one crank there, little at a time, ease it down, and then on the final, make sure it's good and tight. Uh, one other thing uh, to check on these carburetors is make sure that you have that your primer bulb is working well, get good fuel inside here, and then squirt it through a few times. If it's working well enough, you should you will squirt it like a squirt gun. It'll come flying right out of there. And uh, yeah, make sure you lubricate everything well. This part, especially on your throttle, make sure that's all well lubricated and through here would, wouldn't hurt. And uh, you'll be doing good. You'll have a running engine. Let me know if you have any troubles.